Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. I apologize for not putting out a YouTube video uh, for the, the past couple days. That's mainly because I've been pushing up to level 100 on the current Righteous Fire character, so you guys don't have to see any more Resident Sleeper content. We are level 99 on our Righteous Fire Berserker, pushing 100 potentially from today and or well by today, probably tomorrow though. So in this video, uh, it's going to be extremely, extremely laggy. Uh, really bad FPS, everything's gonna be shit, but because of this, I'm gonna show you guys some of the best methods to level to 100 currently uh, that are really budget and pretty much anybody can do. So these are the current T15 beachheads that we're doing, and we're doing something called rotations right now. What rotations are is when you go to Global 820, or you can pretty much go to any chat that you'd like, but Global 820 is the main one that you would do it in, that's the Reddit community. And you'll type looking for more beachhead rotations and specify whether you're NA or EU and you'll get a group for them such as this. Now once you get into your group, each person is going to be required to have a beachhead map and you guys will rotate. It's very easy. So for example, in the current party, you can see here up at the top, we've put the order that players will go in and you'll pretty much just rotate through the beachheads. Now, by doing this method at level 99, with a good group, I'm averaging currently, it's hard to see, but I'm 18.1 uh, mil XP per hour. When I map generally, I get about, I want to say 10 mil XP on average, um, as low as 8.9 mil, as high as about 12 to 14 mil. 14 mil is kind of like an exception if I'm doing like uh, beyond uh, double breach maps, etc. And even then, it's, it's very difficult to sustain 14 mil. So these beachheads are a super good way to level up. You won't really make too much currency out of them. However, you won't really lose currency because you spend 15 chaos and you run basically like, what, six T15 maps? And just out of running the maps from the other players, you're gonna get drops, you'll find uniques, you're gonna get shards, uh, you'll get, you know, just chaos drops. And then from your own map, you have the gamble, so you could get the rare beachhead uniques like the helmets, um, and you just have a bunch of other stuff. These maps are pretty safe, despite them being tier 15, and the reason why is if you look at the top right hand side, um, there's no damage mods. So if you look on my YouTube channel as well, you'll notice I have a couple videos out of these beachheads already, but I've never really done anything with party play. Despite there being like almost no FPS in party play, um, there are a couple things you can do to make it a bit better. If you go to your options and you enable DirectX 11, along with the dynamic resolution scaling, you'll notice that your FPS will still probably go to shit and your game will look like RuneScape, but rather than you having a 2 FPS, you'll have more like a 20 or 15, which is at least somewhat manageable. The only real things you have to be careful for in these areas are things like bears that would, you know, uh, the, the little orbs on the floor that explode. You have to be careful of those. Other than that, there's nothing really too scary in this map. Um, the doges, or sorry, not the doges, the tigers can do quite a bit of physical damage. But anyway, for people who are playing my RF build, I want to show you guys a nice little addition that I've done. So when you get to the middle, it's a bunch of mobs. So I'm going to swap ink AoE with conch, take my increased duration, swap it with my shield charge, put vol cyclone in for faster attacks. And we now currently have vol cyclone, increased crit, which is whatever, uh, fortify and increase duration and we're actually gonna vol cyclone for this group to get maximum gains now this isn't hardcore and it's very unlikely that my character is gonna die doing this but there is always a risk uh, when vol cycloning especially because I can't use my war cry heal but you'll notice it makes a pretty big difference when you're actually vol cycloning since everything will pretty much just funnel into your character when you're Vol Cycloning, you want to make sure not to waste it, so you don't want to use it when the guy is at like full, like, not full life, but like low life. So I'm kind of on like an awkward spot because my Vol Cyclone's not charged yet. Here we go, this should be fine. There we go. Now, if you want to be extra safe, just make sure you run with a support. Uh, supports, supports will probably be shouting 24-7 for this map, so you don't really have to worry about it. Um, with a support, you'll have like much higher resistances. Your armor will be a bit higher. Uh, for example, I'm at 3.6k life regen right now as well. Uh, so supports really do add a pretty big addition to this.
Oh, where'd the other guy go? Did he run? He ran! Dude, he ran away! What a little bitch! If you guys want to do the Rampage trick, you can totally do the Rampage trick as well. Uh, since Rampage works for anyone in your party killing things, it's actually very easy to sustain it. And we are currently 18.2 mil, actually. We just went up a little bit. And then the important thing is, if you're doing this, you want to make sure to switch your Vol Cyclone back before it ends, just because you don't want to, like, be slow for your party and make them wait for you. So I'm just going to start swapping around my links. Bill's loot filter, man. And then we're just going to finish up the rest of this map. There's a couple different ways to clear it. Uh, the method we've been using of recently, since it's usually easier for the group, is you want to just clear the ledges as you walk by them. Some people like to clear the ledges at the end. It doesn't make too much of a difference. The only thing that matters is that you stay with your group, because if your group is killing things off screen and you're not with them, you're not really going to be getting XP, and that's really important in maps with basically, you know, six player HP. You want to make sure all the players are near each other. Now, I decided to opt out and do these just because it's more relaxing, it's easier for me to focus with my chat, and it's just kind of different. I feel like really indulging, or not indulging, but like jumping in and playing with the actual league mechanics is kind of part of how the game is supposed to be played, you know? Like when I was breaching, or well during breach, well speaking of an exalt orb, <laughs> but I, I remember playing through breach league and leveling to 100 through breaches. And I did that quite a bit this league as well, but it just, I don't know what it is. So for some reason, party play doesn't feel nearly as cancer as it used to, even though I can barely see anything. I guess just going from 2 FPS to 15 really does make that much of a difference. I never thought I would say that, but <laughs> it's a step in the right direction at least. Fifteen FPS, the dream, dude. I'm surprised my CPU hasn't hasn't or my computer hasn't just shit itself. I'm like streaming in 1080p, recording in 1080p. The game is trying to run in 1080p, but it's running in like fucking 144p because it can't do anything else. First YouTube comment, dude, I ripped myself with Vol Cyclone. Oh yeah, one thing to note is I would definitely be careful on using Vol Cyclone in the open areas here, because if people uh, if people like run away from you and you're Vol Cycloning, you could die, or you could potentially suck in like a bunch of bearer mobs and get yourself killed. That's why I usually only Vol Cyclone in the middle. Also, you want to make sure you don't get stuck and left behind. Alright then guys, that's pretty much going to conclude the video. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, if you wanted to know the maps that I've been chaining as well, I've really been liking Springs, which is a tier 14. Uh, that's the other map that I would be running for XP instead of this one. Uh, but I'm sure there's a bunch of other things to do as well. That's just what I decided to go with. But that's pretty much about it. So if you guys liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Feel free to come support me as well on the stream because we're going to be doing the last couple uh, days of grinding. So like today and tomorrow or even today and then we're pretty much done. So I'm going to get on and continue this rotation. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. I hope to see you guys in Rayclast. Have a wonderful time, boys.